is it the Montreal Olympic Stadium so um, as you can see um, I can catch your train and the train will drop you right at the station where the the Olympic st Stadium is it cost me only 350 which is two euros and that's it you don't have to ride a taxi or anything it's it's simple from the train I'm gonna exit straight to the to the Olympic Stadium There seems to be some heavy construction going on here, which is a good sign. They are keeping their things um, in good shape and safe. I could exit the train station from there and catch a bus. And to your right is the main gate to the to the Olympic Stadium. Once you exit the train, you don't have to go out back out anymore. You can see that we are at the main entrance. There's the Olympic rings. Since there's no more Olympics, some of the Olympic facilities, building are now used for uh, as a gym or, you know, So they're, they're making it viable, so it's still useful even if there's no more Olympic. They're keeping the flame alive. What do we have here? No. Guys, there's a map of the of this area. So it's huge. It, if you're gonna come here, you better be, uh, bring some good walking shoes because you can see uh, that that's all the the Olympic Stadium. You have the Olympic Village and. Uh, There are soccer field and all together I think it's maybe two three miles that you have to walk to cover everything. It's beautiful wall.
also since there's no more Olympics, now they use the the stadium for mega rock concert, for stand up comic, other like events that you know would generate a bit of money for the city. I'm wondering what's upstairs, what's up there. Oh, that's the Olympic torch. Yeah, okay. And I can see the street from here. We're at the street level when you're going up. Nineteen seventy six summer of nineteen seventy six was Canada first Olympic ever. And uh, the event of that Olympic was uh, a Romanian athlete named uh, Nadia Comaneci. She scores uh, she scored a 10 at the uneven bars which was never seen before until now i mean it is extremely difficult to score to score perfect at anything There's a small tour. You can, well, maybe not now. I don't think it's available now because of COVID-19, but um, you can actually get a guide to like show you more in details or in depth. That's Montreal uh, soccer team, the Impact, Impact of Montreal. So now there's no more Olympic. You would have uh, the Montreal football team, soccer team, using the using the the stadium and and winter. And, and look, guys, some part of the stadium is now like a gym. Their activity is scheduled for the winter, but I don't think none of that is going to take place because with COVID-19, um, and it's free, it's written in French, but throughout the winter, they have like stuff that they do here uh, for families, free, free, free. But I think as of now, it's probably postponed Look at this place, amazing, beautiful. Plenty of ATM if you need like some cash to buy your, to get your ticket. If there would be like something here. That was a small snack bar, but look at that. COVID-19 put them out of business. It's completely empty. Montreal used to have a baseball team, the Expos, and up there are the banners of the Great One. That's their mascot there.
that's T Tim Raines, and that one is Andrew Darson. The kid, Gary Carter. They're all Americans, but they played here for, for Montreal. It's a contract, it's a business. You know, it's sports. That's the mascot up there, UP. That's the football team, the Alouette. They are le legendary because uh, they won many Super Bowls, so... They have many uh, uh, local heroes here. That would be an overview of the, the stadium, like shooting from a helicopter. If you exit there, it says uh, there is this tour where you pay a guide and you get all the way up to the top floor. They have a botanic garden and a um, stadium where they play soccer at Saputo. Botanic garden. They have a movie theater. It's all down this way. We'll go see later. Yeah. Well, you know what? I'm going to go back out. Oh, what's done there? A tribute to the Canadian athlete. What a great year, 1976. I give phrases to the mayor who was in, in, in charge here because where they built the, the stadium is right at city center. So therefore, you don't need no, no setups, no arrangements, no nothing. All you need is $3.50, $3.50 or two euros, and that's it. Both combine one price, you ride the train, the bus, and here you are, headache free. vending machine you can grab a coke or soda so i'm guessing when things are like when they're in business people would line up and buy their ticket before going in I remember the great Sting had a show here, him, Madonna, a couple of like great artists. So they are very smart in keeping the buildings alive by doing other businesses with them. Even after 40 years, the Olympic dream and neighborhood and village, it's still well alive. It's a family thing. You see, guys? That's it. You know, it's peaceful. You come here with your friends, your lover, your brother. So, the turn still still working let's see yes <laughs> it's still working <laughs> 
so now I'm gonna exit to the street main street and from there we're gonna see the the stadium from the outside those things they are they tell you exactly when you come up what's botanic garden there's a museum they tell you exactly what you're gonna see so uh, well done my Canadian friends well done as you come up This is where the people wait for the bus and you can see 1.39, they tell you the time and how long the bus is going to be here in 12 minutes north. All right. Yeah, guys, look at that. There are some major uh, repair and road work going on here. But as you can see, guys, when you exit, that's the train station. Simple, simple. It says Olympic Stadium, underground parking. Oh, you can see it, what a beauty. To your left is the museum that they announced. When we were still at the train station, that's the mu museum across to your left. There seems to be some major makeover around here and they need to do that so they can keep it appealing for tourists to come and visit and it's got to be safe you know look at that That's why I advise you guys, get some good walking shoes. <laughs> That's your Olympic podium, first, second, third. You see it? The Olympic rings the different many flags 92 nations took part participated in the 1976 uh, olympics and they didn't lie guys you see right across it's is the Bo botanic garden it's challenging because i'm going uphill <laughs> it says Olympic Stadium, all right. Yeah, we didn't get lost. Okay, this is to commemorate the games, everything went fine. There was no cheating. Everyone was welcome. 
and you can come here have your brother your wife you put her on the podium and take a picture as if she's a winner she is a winner she married you <laughs> what's that our comments well all right there's lots of things to see I'm wondering if I if I'm gonna be able to see everything in one day so you can't get lost really guys look this is a map of the Olympic Village and from 1 to, to 27 or the the things that you know if you look at number 14 on the map it tells you so you know you're not going to be like walking for nothing or don't worry it's all there smash tennis center hey guys look they even tell you how much you have to how much you have to walk 10 to 14 minutes i told you bring some good walking shoes I may have picked a bad time to come and visit but you know I mean this is real this is not a movie so I'm not a hero I'm just like you guys you know genuine so it's winter no problem we can still do it those two stones I don't know what what's their meaning but probably maybe the first brick that was laid let me see if we look down it's such a huge place it's such a huge place i mean anywhere you go there seems to be more you can ride a taxi to come here of course but as you know sooner or later you're gonna have to walk what a beauty God bless the Canadian people hey they even have a roof yes since there's winter here so to be able to have rock concert and other things going you're gonna have snow like this all over all right okay let's go down <clears throat> okay more stairs am i going the right way okay that looks like a bunker but it is not i guarantee you it's just my mind playing tricks on me the truth is guys we have been deprived by the COVID-19 because usually this seems to have things uh, ongoing here even in winter time but you know I mean it wouldn't make any sense to to have like human gathering now it, it, it would not serve the purpose you have the different flags Germany Algeria uh, Morocco Brazil, Argentina, the United States, 
France, Canada. You see all the flags over there, guys. Japan. Uh, no, that's South Korea. I'm not bad, eh, guys? <laughs> I'm able to tell the flags. They have no name, but I know. I mean, you know. <laughs> Oh, there's more. Look, guys. That's Port Portugal. Uh, that's Australia. Lebanon. <laughs> the Great Japan. <laughs> the beautiful flag of Japan. That's uh, the Hebrews. Yeah, that's the flag of the Hebrews. These Israelite, I think. 92 nations. That's how many nations were here for the um, summer of 1976 Olympic. You gotta be proud of Mayor Drapeau because until now to get the olympics you must do a lot and those people never had olympics before so to build the right accommodations for so many different nations that guy is a genius and is until now he is among top canadian mayor until now His deeds are there to prove it, guys. So, you see, guys, they have a fitness center now. Inside, and of course, you got to pay your uh, membership, a one-year membership, or I don't know how it goes, but you, you got to pay something. I could have got closer, but as you see, everything is fenced, so I don't know what's, what's that. That's in the summertime. Uh, COVID really took all life, all, all common sense is gone. I wanted you guys to see the 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 stadium from the street, you know. L let me see because we are too close. We can't we can't see really. <clears throat> oh my God! Can I do it? Yes, let's try. It's very steep. Oh God! <sighs> Right. Oh God! All right, Ooh. almost there. Oh my God! All right. Ooh. Okay. That's the botanic garden across. It looks like it's open, but uh, not free. There's nothing free in Canada. Look guys, this is a spaceship. <laughs> we are ready to take off. Look at that, the size of it, the shape of it. it looks like a, a huge alien spaceship. So as you can see, everything around this area belongs to the Olympic Village. All the buildings, some are active still and some not.
that street there is named Sherbrooke Street. As you know, guys, the, the Olympic of the summer 1976 was open and, and led by the by Queen Elizabeth II. And um, if you guys didn't know, Canada used to be a British colony. And until today, you can still find uh, Queen Elizabeth II on many uh, Canadian currency. They are still tight bound between uh, Canadian government and British government. So many of the streets here are named after English people, British people, because they are the ones who colonized this land. So you still have like real British living here. You know, it's peaceful. And the Queens and her family still have their estate here. So, you know, if you didn't know, now you know. So you kind of like in a British country still. Look at that, just like a real spaceship. And at the top, You can have dinner there and party there, you know. When business are normal, as usual, you can actually rent up there and and throw a party to, for your kids, wife, friends, co-worker. Oh, look, look at that, guys. So many buildings. Can you imagine? This was done in, in the 70s and it's still standing. Great! No wonder why there's like so much repairs going on because sooner or later, I mean, that thing is not going to self-maintain. You have to do something to keep it in good shape. That is so impressive. Wow. It involves a lot of walking, but I can assure you, if you're a group of friends, this is not like a race. You're gonna be like talking, taking a break, and you know, so it doesn't seem long when you with when you are with people, you know. And you're not in a race, it's going to be relaxed, you're going to, you know, you're going to stop and take pictures, selfies, you know. All the buildings that you guys are seeing all belongs to the Olympic Village. It's such a huge labor or uh, ever. The mayor was smart enough and fair. Canadian people are not afraid of competition. So they built a village for the athletes. So from the stadium to the village, it's at walking distance. You don't have to worry about missing the bus. You don't know where to go and uh, you can't ride a taxi. We have seen in the past, we're not going to do any name dropping, all right? But we have witnessed people, athletes, and other places, they couldn't get to their event because there were no buses. And they were at the far places and uh, the stress of com competing and then now you got to find your way around. It adds up, guys. 
you know so i think the canadians are brilliant to have put everything within walking distance you train all your life we're really giving you the chance to compete if you miss the bus if you miss the the shadow no problem you can be miles around and you still see the stadium and it's just like at the most 10 minutes walking distance that's what i call fair that's why i call that guy a genius that's the mpac stadium where they play soccer you see there's this arrow telling you and they tell you 10 minutes they tell you there's no surprises and of course you know it guys it's in shut down they tell you I, I, I kind of like knew it across there what you are looking at is uh, the Maisonette Park and there you can ski you can run you can bike you can roll a blade it's huge we're talking about maybe uh, the park if you would have to walk from one end to another like shore to shore we're talking about three miles so that's a lot and there too sometimes they would have like events with uh, local stars you know it doesn't matter if it's winter i mean these people they're accustomed with the cold to the cold so you would have like people come and perform their stuff that local people are so fond of you know but as you know now 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 there's nothing nothing's going on look how huge the park is and and that's just one side of it you can see people doing some ice skating that's the stadium where the impact plays you see more olympic buildings better canada is known for its many trees pine trees maple trees and they put all of that into good use
what you guys are seeing down there is the Olympic Village where the athlete would stay and then walk down to compete the next day. So what you are looking at is the Olympic Village. So all the athletes, the coaches would stay there and and in the morning they would either take a shard, shuttle or a shuttle or just walk downhill to the whatever building that they were going to where they have to compete. What is the story here? When the Olympic was gone, the government and the city were left with all those buildings and, and facilities. What are we going to do? So now, there are people living in there. They, are, they have been con converted to condos. And I am sorry to say that, but only wealthy people can live here now. This whole neighborhood has, has become very, very expensive to live in. Everything was converted into a business. I think, I don't think it was luck. I think they were very smart. Many Sadly enough, many countries after the Olympics, the buildings are like falling apart. The, the buildings are falling apart. There's nothing to do with them, but the Canadians have found new energy, a way to, to give a second economy uh, life to those uh, buildings and now if you're not a wealthy person you can't live here look it's beautiful
everything was converted into something else. As you can see, the whole neighborhood now is just condos for retired people. They have their fitness gym, I mean, it's deluxe. If, you, if you're looking for stuff that are like uh, above average, it's, it's right here. We can go like all the way down. What you're gonna see are like condos, expensive condos. So there you have it guys, it's written in French. Village. It's covered in snow. But you can still see, it. that's the logo of the village. You see? Right across. That's, that's the village. So that's, that's the story of the 76, 1976 Montreal Olympic. Nothing went to waste. Everything was given a second life and a third life because it's been 40 years already, almost 50 years. So there you have it, guys. Yeah. The architect who came up with the design is just out of this world because, you know, I mean, the concept itself is, it, it's beautiful.